traditional psychiatry uses that term altered states of consciousness. Uh, those people who have done significant research in of consciousness, they prefer the term non-ordinary state of consciousness, but even that is very, very broad because there are many non-ordinary states of consciousness that are not healing, that are not transformative, that are not evolutionary, that are not interesting from the heuristic point of view. So when I found out that uh, we really don't have uh, a special term for uh, the states that have these positive uh, properties, like the experiences of the shamans, the native cultures, the initiates in the mysteries, the yogis, the Buddhists, the, uh, the Christian mystics, the Sufis, the, the Kabbalists, and so on, uh, I decided to coin one myself, and I started calling them holotropic, where holos means whole in Greek, and uh, tropic is derived from trepein, which means moving towards uh, so they, it means literally moving toward wholeness, um, like in the term uh, heliotropism. Helios is a, a sun, and heliotropism is the is the property of the flower to always follow the sun, move towards the the sun. Uh, now this sort of uh, implies something that surprises some people in our culture. Uh, which is that we are not somehow whole the way we experience ourselves in our everyday uh, consciousness, that we identify just with a fraction of who we, who we really are. And I use uh, the um, kind of Hindu shorthand to explain this. The Hindus talk about the fact that we are not uh, Nama Rupa, we are not name, name and shape, uh, that our deepest identity is Atman Brahman, is really with the was the creative principle in the universe and um, they actually offer uh, specific methods and if you follow those disciplines you can get experiential validation of that you can experience yourself as anything between the uh, body ego your everyday identity and identification with the divine and anything that's between in other words everything that's part of creation can uh, you can identify with experientially uh, so the ter term holotropic means moving toward wholeness and uh, you know in some of these states uh, the movement toward wholeness is sm uh, through small steps sometimes it's a major major jump but there is an inherent potential in these states to for us to reclaim our cosmic status so they give the give the psyche a cosmic status